Today's problem is lead code problem number 997 and it asks you to find the town judge and we will see what is the definition of town judge. So this is a town where uh, these five people are there. There can be more people. So here this green person denotes the judge and these yellow people are the general public and this uh, blue line denotes the trust and arrow denotes that this person trusts this person. But this is not known to us beforehand. We will determine it based on what arrows are going towards what persons. So the condition is that the judge, let me call it with G and these are different people P1, P2, P3 and P4. So judge does not trust anyone. So there should be no arrow going out of this. So this is not allowed. So this is the first condition. And the second condition is that all the every person in the town trusts the judge. So for any P, there should be one trust going in this direction. If there is one spare person uh, from which there is no arrow coming in this direction, that is this person does not trust this person, then this person will not be judge and it's possible that there is no judge in the town. In that case, we will return minus one. Otherwise, we will return the index of that person. There is a number for each person, a label. So you will be given n, where n denotes the number of people in the town and their label are from one, two, all the way up to n. So each person has a unique label and one of these labels will satisfy these conditions for which everybody trusts him, but he does not, he or she does not trust anybody else. So how we will find that? So this was a positive example. You see uh, there are five people, n is five, and four people are trusting this person. They can also trust somebody else also. This does not violate the condition, but this judge should not trust anyone. So if we add an arrow like this, it will be false. So in this case, we can safely return this. But let's take a negative example. So here you see this person trusts this person. So this is a candidate for now. And this is no more a candidate because he has trusted somebody. But the condition is given that there is no outgoing arrow from judge. That is judge does not trust anyone. So this cannot be judge because he trusts somebody else. But this is still a candidate and its count is one. Here also n is 5. This person also trusts him. So this is also not a candidate, but its count becomes 2. This person again, so count becomes 3. Very good. And this is not a candidate. And this trusts even this person for this count becomes 1. And now I find that this judge also trusts this person. So now its count becomes 2. And after we have assigned all the counts, we have looked through all the trust arrows, we see that none of them have count of four. So count should be four. I will write it TC for trust count. This should be equal to N minus one for any person. Then that will be the judge. So what approach we will follow is that whenever A trusts B, I'll keep a count track of the same size n levels corresponding to each so 1 2 till n so this is a trust count array for n initially there will be 0 every person has 0 trust count and we will be given a pair of this a list of this trust pairs so a b then maybe C, B and a big list like this. So this is itself a list. It has some pairs. So we iterate this list, bigger list. We see that A trusts B. So whatever is the level of B, let's say it's the level of B. So we make its value plus one and its value minus one. And why is minus one required? Because maybe that everybody trusts this person so its count will become n minus one, but this person also trusts somebody. 
then in reality this should not be judge because judge does not trust anybody so in that case we have to decrement its count so it will become n minus 2 so automatically it will violate our condition everybody trusts him that's fine but he also trusts somebody so we decrement it and we keep that invariant and then c trusts b so again b count increments and c's count decrement and we do this for all of this and finally we will iterate, iterate this trust count array and we will see uh, for which index the trust count is equal to n minus 1 that will be the judge if we don't find any such uh, value in this trust count array we will return minus 1 so let's write the code for this in uh, C++ then we will write the same thing in Java and Python and by the way what is the time complexity here it will be of the order of uh, whatever is the number of trust pairs in this trust list uh, so if you think of n as the number of people then it may not be order n because this list this pair can become very big so when I written here order n this may be misleading so n uh, if n is the number of person then the maximum number of pairs can be n square and specifically it will be n multiplied by n minus 1 by 2 this is the maximum possible pairs where there is a trust between every person this trusts this and this one trusts this so this even 2 will not be there so there can be n multiplied by n minus 1 such arrows in a complete graph if you think of it as a graph of 5 nodes there can be 5 times 4 that is 20 such edges so it this uh, input itself can be n square length so time complexity will be order n square and space complexity will be order n since we are using a trust count array and one space for each of the n person in the town so space is order n but uh, the time complexity will depend on the input so input itself is this is the input if input itself is a big number of the order of n square then time complexity will obviously be that uh, but uh, you can think of it as a linear algorithm because uh, you are just iterating the input once but the this is a slight confusion here since n is the number of person and this pair can be the input can be as big as n square so let's write the code for this so these are some of the examples these are simple so uh, so let's keep a vector int and we will call it trust count and its size will be n and initialized to 0 trust count is 0 initially then we iterate this uh, trust this trust is a vector of vector this thing so this each vector is of size 2 which denotes an edge edge going from a to b so these are smaller uh, vectors and this is the larger vector trust vector so what we will do t0 will denote the person who is trusting and t1 will denote whom the t0 is trusting so what we will do trust count trust count 0 t0 minus minus because this person is trusting somebody so we decrement its count and trust count t1 plus plus and now this will populate the trust count array so our next job is to look for a trust count equal to 
एन माइनस वन आई लेस देन एन प्लस प्लस आई इफ ट्रस्ट काउंट आई इज इक्वल टू एन माइनस वन देन रिटर्न आई प्लस वन y plus one because here the numbers are levels are always from one to n, not zero to n minus one. For example, here we have three person, and you see levels are one, two, three, and it's even given somewhere. So the levels are from one to n and not zero to n minus one, but the array indices are from zero to n minus one. So we return plus one. We are starting from zero, going till n minus one. And if we did not find anything, we return the result or minus one. So let's try this. Uh, run time error. Okay, this uh, these trust vectors will also give it levels like this, so it can have a value of n, and this n is not a valid index. So here also we will do minus one. Otherwise, will it will be we will be accessing a value an index which does not exist, and this works. So let's submit. And the solution is accepted in C plus plus. Now we will do the same thing in Java. Everything else should remain same. Let's try, and this works. So let's submit, and the solution is accepted. Finally, we will do it in Python three. And this works, so let's submit. And the solution is accepted in Python as well.